There we go. Happens to the best of us. So like uh, like when I did the, I pulled the 750 with the Lions Megabus, like by the time I got it back to the camp, everything on it was just destroyed. But which I thought it was funny too. I also did. I also thought it was extremely hilarious. I literally said to myself, I was like, Jesus, I just beat that Ford freaking down terribly. Holy cow. Well, that's what they say in the old advertisements, built Ford tough. Hopefully the mud cleared up a little bit because we got to find a way to get through there. I mean, we could, I mean, whatever's safer for the Ford. That's the, I know, that's the bad thing. I know, it's all breakable ice, I know, but. There hasn't been times that you, you've actually been basically wrong basically before then. And basically in, um, in this game, so. Wait, is your truck gonna help you push, push through it? Also, it looks like a Soviet bunker up there too. It looks like over there on the over there on the on to your I think right to your passenger side. There's a big Soviet bunker. Yeah, it's a so yeah it's a, should be it, I think it's a Soviet bunker. Oh yeah, it is. There is. Okay. 
Got it? Alright. Now I gotta somehow get over this ice chunk, which shouldn't be too hard. No, I got it, I got it, I got it. I just needed to get over the freaking ice that you, the little hole that, or the big trench that you, you, do, you dug in the water. I know, I know. I mean, don't, I'll basically worry, Ben, we're halfway there anyway, so. Yep, we're like halfway there, so we've gotten halfway through this. Oh, oh, actually, all we gotta do is get across the, we gotta get through this and then get across the ice. I'm gonna take Go through this person's yard over here so I can assist you if you need to. And I'll just drive through this to get through there. Come on, turbo diesel. Let's see, see, let's see if I can knock knock their fence down. Oh. I just yeeted their fence in, into the next dimension. Not gonna lie, that was hilarious, not gonna lie. Who would even live up here? That's my question. I, I feel like they would be, I'm sure Russia is a pretty cold town. I'm pretty sure at nighttime it's really gorgeous, I'm sure. But I'm sure it gets really cold. Huh? I mean, you do have your freaking the truck's engine on too, of course. Oh God, it just went massive, massive, boink. <laughs> I mean, we can't really, I mean, there's a lot of water down there though. I think we could probably make it there. We just got to be really careful. That's the thing. I don't want to lose. I don't want to have to come back here and then lift up the truck. Oh, sorry. Let, let, me, let me know before if you want to back up. All right, go ahead.
Oh, a hundred percent. They probably will. How am I freaking a little? Oh, looks like a little. Didn't we follow the freaking outside of the thing all the way around? I was gonna say, I feel like that's our probably our best bet, if we're lucky. Dude, the freaking treads on that thing are just absolutely worn. Like they're they're getting bald. The back tires are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um. Come on, we're really right there, too. Okay, I got the, I got the truck. Nah, that way it doesn't float fluff. That way it doesn't go down with the river. All right, basically ready or not? Okay, there you go. Yep. Oh, it's gonna be a violent. It's gonna be a violent struggle to get, but I feel like I think I, I can. I I think I can do it. I just gotta be careful around the freaking water. I mean, if this truck gets. trees keep falling down. I keep winching them to little mini miniature and medium sized trees. If I can just get on if I can just get grip on the freaking thing I'll be I'll, I'll be okay. That's, yep, that's, uh, yep, yep, that's honestly what I'm doing. I am pretty happy about that, considering if I didn't have that, it would be a nightmare to get through that. Oh, I just fell through the ice. Perfect. 
perfect. There we go. Nice. And it's a pretty decent size row too. It's not hard or nothing, not muddy or nothing. Oh, I'm not worried about the rocks. I can just crush them. I can just rock climb over them. You think that's crazy? I have 107 liters of, 106 liters of fuel now. This is a good thumbnail, I might have to, this is a great thumbnail. We'll know what the Northern Lights in the background. I, I don't have to because I got a truck. I don't have my truck. Mm. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Then you got to recover all your trucks. Every last one of them. Oh, trust me, don't worry, I'm working on mine right now. I'm working on one of my trucks right now. Or I'm working on working on the ones I bought.
Okay, I'm gonna bring mine out too. We can end up the video with her sitting in her Fords. it I have it at my at my mom's oh I gotta oh okay well I can't do it but I'll be able to join I guess I can bring my Jeep out well I can't purchase it in Ursa or whatever the hell they call it yeah I can't purchase it there I got enough power to freaking plow through the snow with this beast. Yeah, oh yeah, trust me, I'm happy about that. No, I gotta purchase it still. I still gotta purchase it and everything like that, so. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, might, might as well, you know, show off that beauty. <laughs> How the hell do I get up, up there you are? I'm burning rubber. <laughs> okay, that was pretty sick. I did a burnout in a Jeep. That was awesome. I spun I spun the tires on the Jeep, but it didn't smoke. I don't I don't like that. Go check out Electric 98 YT. Man, this Jeep really wants to run. Hear that engine? Peace out. I can't believe that you could hear my engine. That's hilarious. I'm not surprised. <laughs> 